If your coolant level is decreasing, then one of the easiest spots to check first is the coolant cap. Pop the trunk and the first thing you will see is some residue on the plastic cover that covers the reservoir and bleeder valve below. It will look white and crystallized. The coolant caps are a complex part and are engineered such that they help regulate the pressure, helping the pressure get up to a maximum level at operating temperature but release excess pressure. There's rubber and a spring inside, and these wear out and fail over time and cause leaks. It's a common leak point and replacement is easy. Do not remove this cap if you have just been driving or the engine's been on. Turn the car off and let it cool down to make sure the coolant is not under pressure. If you remove the coolant cap with it under pressure, hot coolant will shoot everywhere and cause burns. For replacement, the part numbers for the coolant cap ending in 01 and 02 are known for leaking. The latest version ends in 04. At this point, we simply unpackage the new cap, remove the old one, and install the new one. Hopefully this helped with resolving your coolant loss issues without having to resort to more drastic measures. If this did not solve your issue, see my other videos for the proper way of fixing coolant leaks and draining and refilling the coolant system. Thanks for watching.